Beloved child, wondrous transformations are unfolding in your life at this very moment. You're evolving into a newer, more empowered version of yourself. By relinquishing old, repetitive thought patterns, you've broken free from the confines of limited thinking. Embracing the boundless possibilities of the universe, your path is now adorned with endless opportunities for growth. Keep a keen eye on the doors opening before you. They reflect the depths of your inner being. Embrace this expansion, my dear one. Amidst life's trials, take solace in my strength. For each challenge you face is a catalyst for your development, crafted with love and intention. Trust in the divine timing of events. Your perseverance will bear fruits of blessings yet to come. Know that I am ever-present, guiding you with steadfast grace. Walk in faith, for my plans are woven with hope and love, guiding you toward a future brimming with promise. God recognizes your worth. He perceives your potential. Though you may not grasp the full significance of your current experiences, hold your head high, assured that God holds the reins, orchestrating a magnificent plan for your life. Perhaps your dreams haven't unfolded as envisioned, yet the scriptures assure us that God's design surpasses our own. Even in the face of rejection from others, remember that God stands before you with arms wide open, eternally embracing you and affirming your value. God acknowledges your every positive action. You are treasured in His sight. Regardless of life's challenges or the disappointments you encounter, your value in God's eyes remains constant. You are forever cherished, the very apple of His eye. He remains steadfast in His commitment to you, urging you never to lose faith in yourself. If you believe in Lord Jesus, I urge you not to overlook this video. God's message resonates. I understand the challenges you face, and though you may feel lost, I am by your side, guiding your path. Trust that I will lead you precisely where you need to be. Be prepared for the answers to your prayers. To emulate God's ways, be the one who remains steadfast when others falter, who forgives even when forgiveness seems undeserved, who extends grace when others cast judgment, who shows love even in the face of hurt. By asking the Holy Spirit to guide you, be ready for the potential sacrifices and uncomfortable situations, for these draw us closer to God. When God leads, the journey draws us nearer to Him. Just as He has protected you, He will reveal you, shining His light upon you and guiding you where you couldn't go alone. Don't be disheartened by silence. Your time is approaching. Your dreams will be realized through your persistent commitment to personal growth. Embrace the present moment in your soul's eternal journey, appreciating both highs and lows. If you're encountering challenges, stay devoted to inner development and all will align. Success awaits you in every facet of life. Better days lie ahead, beyond what you can imagine. The best is unfolding for you now. Are you prepared? Type will have an all over if you're ready. God's presence transcends mere blessings, answered prayers, and miracles. He resides within the waiting amidst chaos and within moments of silence. He is present in your seeking, questioning, and surrendering. Even if His presence seems elusive, rest assured that the Lord stands by your side, unwavering and constant. His faithfulness is immutable, and His promises are securely sealed. In due time, His glory will manifest before your very eyes. I sense your spirit grappling with inexplicable feelings, a sign that your season of transformation is drawing near. I eagerly anticipate witnessing the splendor that will emerge from your journey. Trust me, every moment of waiting will prove to be worthwhile. God says, I am aiding you in shedding old energies stemming from moments where your personal power was suppressed. Embrace the release of fear and insecurity, for without their burden, you'll reconnect with the brilliance within you. Trust in your capacity to assert yourself and advocate for your well-being. It is safe for you to embrace your inherent power. 
God is poised to unlock the door you fervently prayed for. He is preparing to elevate you in the presence of those who doubted you. Persist in your prayers. What you seek is on its way. With God by your side on life's journey, opposition holds no sway. Prepare yourself for the arrival of your prayers, for they are swiftly approaching. Trust that all will unfold as intended in the end. You need not comprehend the intricacies. Simply have faith in God's plan. Amen? He will shelter you beneath His feathers and beneath His wings. You will find safety. His unwavering faithfulness will serve as your shield and stronghold. A portal is unfolding, ushering in greater abundance and progress in your life. Anticipate positive strides toward your aspirations and miraculous opportunities presenting themselves to you. A divine transformation awaits you. Affirm your worthiness and deservingness and it shall manifest. Comment 555 if you resonate with this. Jesus said the path ahead will become clear and what once felt like a battle you'd never get through will become a story about how you found your truth. As difficult as it may be while you're walking through the valley, take your time. Don't rush through this part of your journey. Don't run from the moment that you're in. Walk with confidence, knowing that you're here to learn and grow as a person. Meet your current circumstances with a heart that's ready to experience it all, a heart that's open to discovering something new. You chose to be here when you took the leap of faith and when you left the familiar. You took a bet on yourself and chose to search for more meaning, more purpose and more answers. This very desire to uncover your potential and purpose has brought you to where you are now. Be sure not to lose sight of the promises of God while on the journey. While on the journey, we tend to encounter so many different situations and emotions. While on the journey is where we also wrestle with the thoughts of giving up. But we must never lose sight of the fact that God is molding us into the person who will receive the promise. If it wasn't important, do you think God would waste his time? If he knew we would not love the end results of his work, do you think he would encourage us to keep going? The promises of God for your life are much greater than you think. Don't lose sight of that. Jesus came to put a face on God. We are here to put a face on Christ. So when we speak, people not only hear the word of God, but they feel the presence of God manifesting around them. It is so important that when you touch people prophetically, you touch them with the heart of God. You don't touch them with what you know. People are not here to have an encounter with your anointing. They are here to have an encounter with the living God. It is so important how you show up in that encounter. It is so important the level of humility that you have. So important the... It is so important that your heart is fixed on pursuing the love of God for that individual, no matter what that individual is like, that you pursue the love of God for everyone that you come into contact with. Christian, you are not changing. Instead, you are maturing. There's a difference. You only changed once at the moment of your salvation. That change caused you to become exactly like Jesus in spirit. So now, your goal is not to keep changing, but to press forward to know Him better and yourself better, to learn and grow. This is called maturation, not change. As you mature, be easy on yourself when your actions and attitudes yell, See, you've not changed. Just look at you. Don't believe that. Believe the truth of what the cross has done to your identity. Refocus and give yourself grace. Over time, you'll look back and see just how much you've matured, not changed. You'll realize you've been complete in Christ ever since you began trusting Him. I might have collapsed if I hadn't trusted in witnessing the kindness of the Lord in the realm of the living. Type, I adore you, Jesus. Let's pray together. Almighty Father, I utter this prayer with humility, bowing my hand, head, and heart in reverence before you.
you've enlightened me that in times of adversity, when I feel overwhelmed, all I need to do is reach out to you. Today, I kneel before you, Father, acknowledging you as my refuge and my source of strength. I cannot take another step without your help. My strength is gone, but I know that your power is made perfect in my weakness. All things are possible for you, Father. The problems and trouble that I find myself in are no match for you, my God and Creator. You are God, and you do not require any help to achieve anything. You know all, you see all, and you can do all. Father, you have given me the ability to come to you in prayer as your child, but I must be in right standing with you, since sin cannot stand in your presence. I want to ask you to forgive me for any wrong thing that I may have done, knowingly or unknowingly. I want to live my life in obedience to your will, but sometimes I make mistakes. If I said, thought, or did anything that was not right in your ease, please forgive me now in Jesus' name and help me to do better. Father, you commanded me not to fear or be troubled and to call on you in my day of trouble. God, you know the problems that are pressing in on me. Father, you know whether the situation is one that I created or if it is one of the enemy's traps. Father, the trouble that I find myself facing may even be God-designed so that I learn to trust you more. Regardless of the situation, my response is the same. God, I am praying and asking you to remove the trouble and help me. I know that you hear me when I pray. I know that you are a way maker and a miracle worker. I know that you want to give me peace. My peace comes when I hear your voice clearly and when I am in your presence. God, you are the lifter of my head. Speak to my heart, Father, as only you can. Strengthen me to make it through this troublesome time. Your word says that you are near to the brokenhearted and the crushed in spirit. Stay close to me, my God. Nothing can separate me from your love. By faith I press on and I cry out to you. Not my will, but yours be done. God, if I must go through this storm, comfort me and go with me. I need you. God, I do not want to do anything without you. Thank you that your spirit lives in me. Thank you that you give your angels charge over me and they will keep watch. Thank you that I never walk alone. Thank you for all of the times you helped me in the past. I know that you did not bring me this far to leave me. I stand on your promises. God, I pour myself out. God, I give all that I have back to you. Fill me with your love and spirit. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. God, I am grateful for the gift of life and the joy you bring. Thank you for leading me on the path of peace and salvation. I love you. Thank you for your presence. To support our channel, please subscribe and stay updated on our latest videos. Thank you for watching.